So before you jump into this video, I wanted to first explain what you're seeing. It is Mercury, the new small business bank account that I've opened to house all of my monies. I'm really excited because this bank has every feature that I wanted, except for a few. But I would say that the good outweighs the bad. So take a look and let me know if you have questions. So let's dive into my obsessions. I really feel as if this is going to be a quick video, but I wanted to show you because this is a fresh bank account um, and nothing has been transferred in here yet. As you guys can see, this is the dashboard. So this is the home page. It's going to show you the balances and I'm also going to show you their demo. I just wanted to show you what it looks like as a clean slate um, and then show you their demo. So transactions will show you what the transactions in and outs are. Clearly right now it has no transactions but this one transfer that I'm bringing in here so this transfer is coming from an outside bank which they do they do interchangeable banks uh, but they also do intercom intercompany bank transfers as well um, you have the ability to do payments and there's an approval process that I am so in love with because a lot of times if you are a bank that uses um, approval processes for amounts that are over a certain amount you can create a payment um, and that can be sent via an email um, to them uh, either ACH check wire or international wire and these are their uh, delays which is not really bad if you ask me so you can invite them to fill out their own profile which is also cool but you'll technically name it um, like wherever you want to name it to so whatever that is so what I really loved about this um, is also the fact that you have the ability to add all of the information here and this is very detailed so it gives you all of the ACH information but if I had chose um, just like a dragging if I wanted to drop in an invoice you could do that here as well but if I wanted to choose let me go ahead and say check um, the test um, information here is also still similar but it's just kind of like giving you you know the break the basics it doesn't autofill um, and so you have the autofill option to do it all here um, and so let's go ahead and put that in and then it tells you the amount so of course you can transfer it from an account to another account things like that so it's great with scheduling and all the other things that I can't show you in this account but I will in the demo account uh, going over to payments you have again the wire draws so you get to see the actual authorizations that you make here um, and then once you guys have like the full uh, recipients kind of built out here you can kind of see all the payment history and all the things here clearly I'm gonna re remove that uh, you also get cards you get a virtual card and a physical card of course you can see any virtual card and who they are too what I really really loved about this is that you can actually create a standard card and a merchant card so the standard card is usually very expandable so you can use it for any general spending or specific spending and then you have the merchant card that is really just signal um single merchant related so you can create like a limit um to this associated with what account who's going to be using the card you can customize the card name itself and then you can also lock it to any kind of like limited merchant which is great it also can do a card expiration date so this is great for if you have a team and you want to actually give them a card for shopping for lunch or whatever the case is um i also like the fact that um it's very accessible and easy to kind of like see at a level here then you have capital which i thought was amazing they give you offers in here for the capital ventures that you may want to use um giving you kind of like you know 
things for startups and other funding options. And then you have the accounts. Now the accounts is kind of like the basic place that everyone would be. You can actually create as many checking accounts as you want. I think they're all virtual numbers. Their rally number will be the same, but as you can see, the um, account numbers will be different. Um, the biggest thing that I like about this is that you can actually edit all the things by clicking it, going into it, the, having a deeper dive, seeing the bank, seeing what transfer is coming from what, and then the actual transactions that go inside of here. And it's a similar baseline for everything. It comes standard with a savings account that I thought was really, really great because you do get an earning of 0.1%, which is literally not a lot, but it gives you that flexibility of just knowing that you have a saving account that earns interest. And then you have other information here, like you have the uh, statements, the taxes, the wires, all the information that you would need, like bank letters and things like that for end of year which I thought was great. Um, then you have team, which I really like. So team is really a place if you have like a domain name and you want to invite them, you can actually invite them based on the team, um, you know, kind of like access or you can give them access to the bank itself based on their permissions. Um, you can invite them via Google or just invite them via email, giving them all the information as you want to here and customizing that as needed. I think that's super cool. Um, the other thing that I thought was really cool as well was the referral program. So you kind of get a bonus um, based on each referral and I just love that, you know, but for the most part, I think that if you, you know, go ahead and sign up, you still get the earning of 250. So once you sign up with this code that I'm going to present in here, um, then you'll be able to also get that 250 as well, which is amazing. Uh, some of the other things I like are their perks. So you don't get this on a lot of spaces, but you get perks when you sign up for different um, accounts. And as you can see here, there's a ton of them I already have slack and it sucks because if I knew that I could get this discount from here I would have signed up through here but their perks are never ending which is really really cool and then I like that they have their internal settings so you can see all the information you need um, on this page and you have controls and then you also have integrations so it's basic integrations um, Zapier stripe things like that um, but that's all amazing because I can do that and connect it you have api options vault options as well and then it goes back to team profiles and all the things now i'm gonna hop straight into the demo account because they do have a demo account which i think is super cool so you can see how things actually look in real time i'm going to sign out of my account and let's go straight to the demo and so when you come on to their website you're going to see product and product demo i love playing with this demo because it took me a minute to kind of like look around and see all the things um and this person is rich so um this is what the dashboard would look like if it were realistically, you know, flowing with cash. You can see it on a 30 day scale all the way up to year to date. Um, and you can actually customize this pretty well. There's a couple of views here. Okay, so what I like is this shows you the actual transactions on a downscale for anything that's pending. Also, all the accounts that you're having anything in. Thought that was pretty darn cool. Um, you can see it based on a time zone. You can also see it based on other filters that I think is very helpful because when you want to be specific for something, you can do that as well. You can also export it all um, and that's great if you need it for any other reporting. Payments, you have the process, like I said, to do approvements. So you can do some record approvals um, and last month's fee. It basically will send a email to those people to say, hey, this was approved. And then you can also email yourself to see what it is as well um, I like the fact that it all stays as scheduled or it goes into sent um, which is great but you can also see those approval processes there you have the requests um, here again you can see these look like they're um, just reoccurring payments so you can make these marked as paid or whatever the case is um, and then the recipients here you see a bunch of them and the last time they paid that basically shows them all the transactions as well which is pretty cool. Um, I love the fact that for cards, you can have a ton of them and you can have them based on the person. You can have either physical or a virtual. I'm more than likely gonna use virtuals more than physicals because 
you know but you can freeze them you can do all the things to them you can make them active you can change the spend amount you can see what the daily spend limit is you can change that frequency to monthly um it's pretty intuitive and then what i liked as well was the fact that for the accounts um in here you have the option to do a credit they do have a specific requirement but you have to pay the full balance off each time you use this card and for the most part it's a basic credit card um you are able to get earnings though which is pretty cool you get two percent back which is awesome and then the other thing that i liked about the accounts is just that you can see them all based on their rulings so one of the things that i liked about this is that you can create a rule um and the rules are pretty um unique because you can either do something where you're distributing um cash each month at a certain um percentage so if i wanted to divvy this out it all has to tie it up back to 100 but if i want to allocate it the way that i want it to like here i'll put this to this account and i'll put 25 to this account and then i'll also put another percentage to this account then you can do that and you can do it ba based on transaction or you can do it based on a time frame or you can literally do it based on a just a a schedule you can create the rule and with the rule being scheduled it basically just allows to do an auto transfer each month you can also do the same thing where you want to always have an account at zero so if you want to move something from a uh a checking account to a certain account you could do that it just is very unique as to how you can do that and then also i wanted to show you the background here when it comes to the um, statements so you can see the PDFs as well and I'm gonna just show you what this PDF looks like so for the PDFs again this is a demo account <laughs> so it won't allow me to even see the fake PDF but um, you can be able to look at the PDF and see all the transactions there you can create a custom um, statement as well if you want to change the dates on there which I thought was pretty dope you have the option for doing taxes so you get the 1099 based on um, your savings account and things like that uh, you get the trade amounts because you do get to set up a credit card that does all that you have the wire transfer details the bank details and then you have those notices that are just very important for all the things and all the people um, over here when you see the team you again can see the types of custom team levels you have you have a company profile which is all a demo account so this is just their company profile you can definitely have your name updated on a card which is really cool you have controls like I said you have the ability to uh, just approve or you know deny anything on a daily basis the integrations here you can see that they have set up a few um, they've set up Zapier they've set up some other ones that are all demo accounts um, and then you can see their API's it kind of just is a read or write or you can create a token as needed and then you have the vault of all the things that I thought was really cool too um, notifications are pretty nice and neat as well because of the fact that you can set them based on the kind of customization customization that you want I thought that was awesome I like to always get alerted when something is just you know done on my card so if it's an incoming or outgoing transfer for a dollar anything for that i'm definitely getting customized that is pretty much all that it is i've really enjoyed just playing around with this like i said with accounts you can literally create as many as you want and it could just be a demo, dummy account so if i wanted to create this dummy account here i know this is gonna just create a dummy account but what it does is it takes a second to process and within like a couple of seconds or minutes or whatever it just presents you with its own uh, checking information and the dummy um, account information as well um, i like it because i can create different accounts for savings for operations for payroll and then for each of them i can transfer into each of them you know 
inter intercompany wise um the only thing i wish this had was a real tax breakout so to help with those quarterly taxes you know if i wanted to do that or you know things like that but it's a great um just overall accounting tool um and then the other thing that i wish that it had was the ability to send invoices through here they may be working on that i hadn't checked it but you can see literally all of the information from all your account breakouts to um literally the beginning of <laughs> a transaction down to the finish of it so i hope this was helpful i did go ahead and get a um you know a, an account with them yesterday so i'm fully up and running but let me know if you guys have any questions specifically Bye. All of my back that's highly likely Push start, let's go riding Seat back, back seat Vada, vada, yeah